Black Lives Matter. To the NTID president and the members of NTID's administrative council. On behalf of the NTID Alumni Association Board of Directors, NTID AABOD, we submit this open letter in solidarity with the Black Lives Matter movement. Many of the 9,000 plus NTID alumni members we represent have joined the voices of thousands in protest against racial injustice around the nation. We stand with the members of our community in drawing a hard line against discrimination, inequities, injustices, and hate in any form. NTID is one of many influential academic institutions within the deaf community, which spans the world. The community it serves is experiencing an ongoing cycle of pain that continues to be exacerbated by recurring events. As representatives of the broader NTID community, we remind the NTID president and NAC of NTID's responsibility to make changes that are truly reflective of all the community members' values. We unanimously agreed that NTID's past efforts have fallen short of the concerns outlined in the NTID Ebony Club 2015 open letter and the hashtag Enough is Enough NTID movement. We hold NTID accountable for its actions and representation of these values and believe that real change has begun and will continue. The NTID AABOD recognizes that it is time for results and that this work begins with ourselves. We pledge to hold ourselves accountable in undertaking specific, measurable, and effective actions to do better. We pledge to do our part in dismantling systemic racism as we serve and represent the members of the NTID community. NTID AABOD members have firmly agreed to affirm our commitment to diverse representation within the board. The NTID AABOD recognizes the limitations and capacity of NTID's student life team, the Office of Diversity and Inclusion, and NTID's diversity group to effectively address priorities that elevate and support NTID Black, Indigenous, and People of Color, BIPOC. We urge NTID to reevaluate the level of support these organizations receive and remind them that equitable accessibility for BIPOC community members is important as well. We want to raise awareness of available initiatives such as Stephanie Smith Albert Endowed Scholarship Fund and the Randleman Program that create opportunities for prospective NTID BIPOC students to attend NTID. We also ask all contributors to the NTID Alumni Museum to take steps to appropriately preserve representation of NTID BIPOC history and ensure that appropriate historical context is covered. The documentation and preservation of this history should be overseen by an ensemble of BIPOC curators. The NTID AABOD asks for continual and constructive conversations with the president of NTID, NAC members, and leaders of all levels within NTID. We developed expectations for the president of NTID and the NAC. We continue to research common themes and intend to release these expectations after due diligence. Below, we respectfully and earnestly put forth nine initial actions 
to initiate collaborative work across all parts of our community. We stress the importance of several of the demands which have already been outlined in Ebony Club's 2015 letter. Our expectations are as follows. Revisit NTID's search committees and hiring practices to ensure that NTID BIPOC personnel are represented at all levels in NTID's administration, faculty, and staff. Also, NTID should actively seek out candidates with a demonstrated track record and values of advocacy for diversity, equity, and inclusion, and a commitment to building a campus that serves the diverse population at NTID at RIT. Evaluate existing campus public safety officers and staff training on communicating with NTID BIPOC individuals. Review public safety response and de-escalation protocol to mitigate trends of racism bias toward NTID BIPOC individuals. Educate all responsible parties involved in deciding judicial matters in student conduct cases on racism and bias towards NTID BIPOC students, including but not limited to the Ombuds Office, Public Safety, Student Conduct, Title IX, and Residence Life. Implement changes to training frameworks to mitigate biases by inspecting and identifying oversight policies and procedures for student conduct hearings for any bias or double standards. Instituting safeguards needed for NTID BIPOC students, staff, and faculty whistleblowers, such as having access to an advocate. Ensuring that deaf, deaf blind, deaf disabled, hard of hearing, and late deafened students are taken into consideration as well. Place a greater emphasis on cross-cultural communication and comprehension. This can be accomplished with course content and structure that focuses on race relations and intercultural communications. Determine the best way to integrate these courses into the academic curriculum in ASL format for all students. Incorporate current and relevant topics that include but are not limited to intercultural communication, unconscious bias, anti-black bias, privilege, and racism. Identify external counseling organizations that specialize in addressing various themes of oppression and ask them to assess NTID's counseling department's capacity to meet students' needs. Provide a budget to bring relevant subject matter experts to create year-round safe forums for students, faculty, staff, and administrators. Incorporate different topics that spark continual community reflection and results-driven dialogue on themes of systemic racism and intercultural dynamics where participants can candidly discuss changes they wish to see at NTID. Encourage RIT to institute Juneteenth as a recognized campus holiday. Designate NTID BIPOC and non-BIPOC diversity and inclusion leads in each of NTID's student and academic divisions to carry out 
NTIDs, diversity, equity, and inclusion strategies. For example, NTID Center on Employment, NTID Student and Academic Services, Student Life Team, Academic Departments, etc. These leads should aid in providing a clear visual roadmap of how NTID's employees can engage in dismantling racism, anti-Blackness, and other relevant themes. In addition to these leads, the working groups should also consider including outside BI POC deaf representatives as well. These expectations are valuable guidance based on our alumni community members' expertise and experiences. Our collective values are too important to be ignored. The well-being and safety of BIPOC members need to be prioritized. All should feel safe to share their concerns without retaliation by administrators. A clearly outlined process needs to be established to ensure that any report of concerns ends up in a safe, confidential, and unbiased hand. With this said, the oversight of these actions should be led by an external and neutral organization. The appointment of this organization should be overseen by the Director of Diversity and Inclusion. The members of NTIDAA BOD and NTIDAA generally are an important bridge to communities beyond NTID, and our collaborative work does not end with these changes alone. We will designate a cohort of board members tasked with acting as liaisons to NTID's diversity, equity, and inclusion initiatives. We respectfully request that NTID provide a timeline and a clear plan of implementation addressing the board's expectations no later than Wednesday, October 7th, 2020, two weeks prior to our next board meeting. Changes made by NTID going forward will have a ripple effect on everyone in our deaf community, from our children and students to our working professionals and our senior citizens. We recognize this work cannot be done alone. Therefore, we encourage NTID to continue to count on our 9,000 plus alumni to guide us as we stand in solidarity with the members of our NTID family and call for actionable changes for equity and justice for all NTID BIPOC students, staff, faculty, and alumni. Respectfully submitted with Tiger Pride, NTRD Alumni Association Board of Directors. Black Lives Matter.